there. So today I thought we could do something with our pixel paper prints images that we used earlier in the week for our shaker card. And if you missed that video, I will put a link at the top of the screen. But I promised that we would do a different card so that we could use those images more than the one time. So today we are going to try some ink smushing. So for ink smushing, you're going to need some distress inks, um, a piece of cardstock, a piece of acetate, and um, some kind of spray bottle or a mister or a paintbrush, whatever you want to use. And I'm going to use a heat tool because I don't have time to wait for it to dry and I'm impatient. And I'm also going to need a paper towel. Okay, so for, so for ink smushing, we're going to start with broken china. And for that, I'm just going to put a little bit onto my paper. And then I'm going to spray it with my ink bottle, get it wet. And then I'm going to kind of wipe that around. And if you don't want to get your finger all icky, then you should definitely wear gloves. Otherwise your finger's going to be blue. But then we're going to take that and we're going to smush it down onto our paper, make a little design. I pick it up and you can move that around so you can kind of smush it. Push it. I kind of like to drag it off so it kind of makes a little puddle there on the side. Let me see if I can go a little bit closer. But there we've got a nice little splattering of our stuff. So I'm going to wipe my acetate off and then I'm going to give this a quick dry. And the splatters will look even cooler if you um, let it dry by itself. But for the time of the video, we don't have time for that. So I'm going to give it a quick blast with my heat tool. And as you can see, it's kind of bubbling up here on the side. If you flip it over and you give it a dry on the back, it will flatten that out a little bit. So then we're going to add, so I'm going to go with that for right this minute. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of um, wilted violet. So same thing, I'm going to put a little bit on my piece of acetate. And then I'm going to spray it with my water. And then I'm going to mix that around. And now your finger's going to turn purple. And this is quite a bit, so I'm going to take my paper towel and just dab a little bit of that up because I don't think I'm going to need quite that much. And then I'm going to flip that over onto my, my cardstock. And let's make it go up this way. So I'm going to drag it out here a little bit. Maybe put a few down here at the bottom. Like that. Wipe your acetate off. Then either wait or blast it with your heat tool. Sorry about that. Hurt my hand. I'll put my hand here over the side so you don't have to look at the top of my arm. And see it's peeling back up here, so I'm going to turn it over and dry it from the back. Next, we are going to add some picked raspberry. A little bit of that on my ink pad or on my acetate sheet. Spray it with your water. Mix it around. And that seems like quite a bit, so I'm going to dab a little bit up. And then let's add that. So let's go down here whoops and some drip that's okay mush it around a little bit up here I'm gonna wipe my acetate off I'm gonna dry that Then I think I will give it one more dabbing of um, broken china.
Spray it with water. Rub it around. Tap a little bit of that up. I don't think I need that much. If I want to dilute it a little bit more, you can give it another spritz of water. And let's see. Okay, and then let's dry that. Then you can take, well, I should have brought, probably blast the back here a minute. Try to flatten that out just a little bit. And then what I do is I take my spritzer bottle, and with this spritzer bottle, um, the harder you squeeze the nozzle, the bigger the drop, or the smaller the drops, the less you squeeze the nozzle, the bigger the drops. I'm just going to give it a little squeeze. Drop some water on there. I'm going to take my paper towel after I let it set for a second. Wipe it up. That will give it a few little droplets on there. Like so. I quickly went and I cut my piece out with an Avery L um, Wonky Stitches die. And what I like to do is I like to cut out an extra piece so that I can glue this all bent up one onto that. So nothing fancy. I'm just going to glue this on to the back. I'm using Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I like that stuff. And we'll put it together. Flatten it out. Make sure it's lined up. What I do is I take my acrylic um, block and a heavy cup and I set it on here and so for that we're going to set this over here on the side to dry while we color this cute little um, whale. Okay so I'm going to start with my C0 and for that I am whoops wrong end. For that I'm going to just quickly color in the bottom of my whale And let's color in his cheek too. So for that, we're gonna use R20. Nothing fancy. And then we are going to start coloring him with B99. So let's not do anything too fancy yet. Let's, cause I'm gonna give it a couple of coats. So I'm gonna go over here. And if your B99 is like mine, I hardly ever use it. So it's um, pretty dark and it's really wet. If yours is really wet, you might want to pop the other end off of your cap. That way you don't have to worry about it making one of those giant blobs on top of your stuff. We're just going to go right along over here. And I'm not worried that I went way up over there because we're going to fill that in again later. Then we'll add B97. This, let's bring this up a little bit further. So touch down on top of your B99. Click up. And again, I'm not being too tidy because I'm going to give it a second coat. I'm just putting some color in there. I'm trying not to go out of the lines because I want to um, cut him out. And when I printed this little guy out, I made him 30% of his original size, in case you would like to print one out. Next, we're going to do B95. Try to be a little bit careful going around this little cheek here. Let's go up this way. We don't want to color that blue. And flick this way. Next, we're going to add B93. 
Again, we're not being very tidy. Put some color on there. And then we want to start over. So B99. And I'm going to go up a little bit farther than I did the first time. So I want to flick past that line. And bring this along this line. Next, we'll add B97. Around our little cheek. I'll probably go back after I color him all the way in and um, color his cheek again to darken it up a little bit. We'll add B95. Next is B93. And this time we want to fill it all the way into the top. And he still looks pretty patchy, doesn't he? Let's go ahead and we're going to give him another coat, but I'm going to skip 99 and I'm going to start with 97. I'm going to do 93. And then we're going to take C0, and I'm going to go over my entire whale. Especially where these little lines are.
Then we will do his cheeks one more time with R20. Ink that up. All right then, so through the magic of video editing, I have cut him out. So let's see here, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need a card base, so let's do that. We're gonna need some sticky dots. We need our piece that we smushed. And look how great that turned out. So let's put all of this stuff together. Oh, and I also cut out a um, die. It says thanks. And this is from My Favorite Things, Thanks and Hello Die. And I'll put a link to that down in the description box if you'd like to grab it. It's a really nice one. So for this, we're going to just put some tape runner on the back. Let's go out a little bit more. So put some tape runner on the back. And it's still a little bit wonky because, you know, we smushed that front piece. So I'm going to put extra tape runner on it. Make sure to hold it down really good. And then let's. And then we're going to do our word. So for my word, I'm going to use my quickie gel or quickie glue pen here to put some glue on the back. And if you wanted to pop this up, you could cut this out um, multiple times and glue them together, make up a little bit thicker. that and let's put this on there where are we going to put our whale grab this kind of hard to pick up i don't want to touch that glue get worse yes i'm making it worse okay hold that okay so our whale let's put the whale down here on this little spot right here that i just don't like so we're going to put him down here so let's put our thanks up here like so and I usually take my acrylic block and set it on top of here and then let it dry but we're not gonna do that we don't have time for that now we're gonna do our little whale so let's put some pop dots on the back We better get both of his little pins a pop dot. Aww. Make sure he fits in the envelope, so I want to make sure he's on the card. Let's put him down here. And then we can do some of this Crystal Nouveau drops in um, white blizzard to give him some little bubbles. Over this, I shake it so it's down at the bottom of the bottle. And then I start pulling it, I start mushing it on there with my the tips not touching the paper. So I'll make a little bubble and then let go of it so it kind of sucks back in the bottle. And then they they look pointy when you first now, but after they're dry, they will not be they'll flatten out like enamel dot. Give him a couple of those, and there you have it a quick and easy card using the pixel paper prints um sea animals set that we used earlier, and that is a digi. I'll put a link down in the description box if you'd like to head over and grab one. Um, if you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.